Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we had an incredibly close call, I think it's fair to say. Um, let's loot this place. Why did I think? Seriously, why did I think that there's um, an item box in here? Huh, that's really, really bizarre. That's actually kind of thrown me a little bit. Um, right, let's get out of here. We kind of need to save the game, to be honest. Because that sketched me out. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I really don't want to die. Down here. If I can avoid it, to be honest. So we're going to go back to an item room. We are going to grab the Magnum, because we're not going to be playing around. We want to make sure whatever we run into gets dead. Now, where are you? You're over there. That's fine. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? You having fun? Just chilling out? Well, we are going to make our ass disappear down here. Yeah, that was that was crazy. That last zombie just lurking uh, on the transition between screens. Holy shit. That was not great. That could have really been uh, all she wrote. Um, I guess we could save it here, I suppose. Kind of annoying that this there's no save typewriter in this room. There is, however one in the main hall. That doesn't really help us. Right, we are out of ammo for that. So we're going to stick that back. Uh, we are going to take... I'm going to take the Magnum. Got a little bit of ammo for that bad boy. Uh, that key we might as well hold on to because we need it. Let's... Before we save it, we, we, there's still a few little bits and pieces we can do. Is that going to bring us up to fine? That's going to bring us up to fine. That's fine. Then. Okay. We're not going to save it just yet. We'll save it at the end of this video. Watch this. I'm going to get horribly murdered now. Now I've said that. Yeah, we'll save it. We'll save it. Um, now I'm going to bite the dust. Basically, I can't be bothered to take a Ingribbon out of there. And to save in here, then to go back into there. Uh, nobody's got time for that, honestly. Okay, cool. But in all fairness, as long as we don't, you know, make a huge mistake. Which, well, you know. Uh, we will be fine. <laughs> huge mistake. Yeah, kind of like the fact that I forgot that zombie was there. That could have been a huge mistake. Luckily, it was not. Almost, but not. Alright, now Leon, buddy, listen to me, my friend. Please don't horribly die. That is your one job, Mr. Leon. Your one job is to not horribly die. Oh. Should have put the shotgun back, actually. You don't really need that anymore. Oh, hang on. Have I fucked this up? Yeah, maybe. Now nah, we'll be fine. Oh, I don't know, actually. We might be fine. Oh! That was sketchy. That was sketchy. So there's still one room left to use the precinct key on. And then that's going to disappear. Oh, I don't like this room. Yep. There ain't no zombies in here this time. Okay. Nice. I think we're going to be okay from an item standpoint. Alright. So the only thing in here I think is red card. Uh, is there bullets in here? There might be. Yeah, the Magnum just, well, 
destroys liquors, should we say. The shotgun. The upgraded shotgun doesn't really seem to do that much more. I think it just changes the actual uh, pattern of damage that it does, and I don't think it actually does more damage. I think it just gives it like a longer range or something. Because um, it still takes, even the upgraded shotgun still takes up to three blasts to kill a liquor. So, yeah. But I would say there is roughly the same amount of uh, handgun ammo. Uh, handgun ammo? Roughly the same amount of magnum ammo is there, as there is. Ah, there's two packs of handgun ammo here. That's kind of interesting. Is there no shotgun shells? I mean, the handgun is kind of, at this point in the game, obsolete now. Uh, we will take the machine gun. And we are totally out of space now. Wow, no shotgun shells. Man, I'm so disillusioned. This place has been utterly raided. No shotgun shells. Ah, I am disappointed. I am sad face. Oh well. No shotgun shells, but we have our machine gun, so it's all good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, between the shotgun and the magnum, um, and even the machine gun, to be fair. The... Actually, let's just use the machine gun now. The machine gun is uh, a lot of fun. I don't know why they call it machine gun, submachine gun, but let's not split too many hairs. They still call... Uh, Actually, I don't think they mention clip in this game, do they? I might be wrong. Ah, wait. Isn't there still loads of herbs out there? Uh, there might be. Is there still loads of herbs out here? Because we might want to pick them up. Not that we have. Yeah, there's still two herbs. Ah. <sighs> Well, um, uh, I don't know. Do do I care about the herbs? Probably not. We might grab them. Might not. I don't know. Uh, where are we going now? We are going to. Are we going down here? No, that's the way we came. We're gonna go through here. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Where are you hiding? Oh, I know, mate. I know. Life is so hard for you. I'm going to leave you here, wandering endlessly these dark, lonely corridors. Because I don't like you. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to our item box. We are going to pick up those herbs. Because I can't leave them. I don't know what it is. I have this, this like anything useful, like ammo and, and health. I can't leave it. There's something in my brain. I could never be a speedrunner. These guys that surgically run through the game and just grab one or two items and bits and bobs and blah, 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 blah. I couldn't do it, man. I don't think it's OCD. Uh, we really don't need this stuff. We do need that, obviously. Alrighty then. Two herbs. Like, it's not worth it, though. That's the thing. Like, two herbs. Are we going to die because we don't have two herbs? We might do, though. That's the thing. We may actually die because we don't have these two herbs. And, guys, that would be tragic. I'm not even kidding. Like, that is the definition right there of tragedy. <sighs> Me and my weak brain. It's like, it's, it's literally like, I've got the angel and the devil on my shoulder. The devil's like, eh, fuck it. Leave it. Tell those herbs to go suck a cock. And the angel's like, oh, you might die. You're gonna... 
you're going to spend the rest of this playthrough wondering what would happen. Just what would happen if we took the time to go grab those herbs. And to be fair, it's not exactly that hard, is it? It's not that far away. There we go. I always feel a little bit better having some herbage on you. You know what I mean? Right. Now, especially as we have a couple of encounters with our dear old friend coming up. No, he's alright. People give him a hard time, Mr. X. But he's always been good to me. He turns up. He uh, soaks up some of my ammo. But he always comes bearing presents. You know, it's kind of hard to be angry at the guy. He's always giving me presents. Um, and it is this corridor that we want to go down, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. The other side is completely mined out now. Yeah, we need to go down here. And we need to go solve us a little puzzle. And then we have everything we need to get the hell out of here. Is there anything in here? Nothing inside looks useful. I always think that there's like handgun bullets in there. Maybe there is on some version. There's a lot of versions of this game. A lot of different versions of this game. And they're all slightly different. They all have different things. Slightly different uh, item placements. But it don't matter. Right. Oh. Why did I go through there? Because I'm a fool. And there's the F8 spray. And again, I don't really want to use the F8 spray because that will knock our rank down. I'm pretty confident that we're going to get a B rank. A rank is the highest you can get. Everyone says, no, it's the S rank. The S rank, I believe, is only on the Japanese version. You can't get an S rank on the uh, American or European versions. So, there... Okay, now is that? I think there's some bullets in here. In fact, I'm sure. Yeah, there is bullets here. Oh, it's an F8 ray. Nope. No boy, no. Right, let's go light this up. Like so. And then I think it's that. No, I've done this wrong, I think. Can I turn that one out? No. Yep, we've uh, screwed this up. I'm sure it's that one, that one, and then this one. Yes. I remember stuff sometimes. Almost as if me and my buddy Leon here has done this before. Hello, you. Hey, X. Have some machine gun. As much as you can take, my friend. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah, he's a joke. I mean, what's that? Took like 20% ammo. Now, what I thought was cool is in the remake, like, if you... He gave me handgun bullets. Oh... Does he... Hmm. I'm guessing then the stuff that he gives us is RNG. Because he did not give me handgun bullets the last time. Um, you little bastard, Mr. X. You stingy prick. Well, luckily we get another go at this. Come on. Shouldn't hit us. Oh, he did. Generally, you can get him there without him actually hitting you sometimes. Didn't actually hurt us anyway. Right, what are you giving me this time, sweetheart? Shells. Seven. Mmm. How interesting. Yeah, when I played this, uh, Preparing to record it, he gave me 
Now, I might be wrong because it was like a couple of. It was like almost a month ago now. But I'm sure he gave me Magnum ammo there. And then he gave me. Um. Yeah, Magnum ammo and shotgun shells. I'm sure it was. I mean, I might be wrong. You know, my memory's a bit rubbish. In my old age. 33 this year. Shit. When did that happen? Right, okay. Ah, oh, technically it hasn't happened yet, so... You know. See all these herbs we have. So much help. We've even got herbs. We've worked the fuck. How many herbs do we have, guys? We have too many herbs. That's how many. I don't know why we've got an F8 spray. Um, let's put those with those. We've got so many shells as well. You know, considering we have all this handgun ammo now. Where is our handgun? There. I've actually got like enough hanger ammo to break that bad boy back out. I guess. Because, yeah, the machine gun's fun. It is fun. But there's a lot of enemies that we can save that for later on. Let's go up and around. We're going to get our final. Uh, chest piece, and then we can go all the way back down and get um, get out of the RPD once and for all. Oh, hello! Should we see how good the auto pistol is? Not bad, you know. And we're injured because, of course, we are. Yeah, okay, the auto pistol is actually quite serviceable. Uh, no, we need to go to the... L yeah, we need to go to the library. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, the auto pistol is quite serviceable against a liquor. I wouldn't say it's ideal, but... And we did get lucky there. Really, we should have been hitting twice. But because that liquor, luckily, was absolutely retarded, we got away with it. Um, and we're injured because of course we are okay let's get the fuck out of here listen to that music the music in this is so good it really is nay it's superb no enemies here that's interesting Hmm. I thought there was a liquor up here. Well, it shows you how uh, good my brain is. Oh, we don't have the crank. We haven't done the crank. Ah, idiot. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, we need to go back down to where the helicopter wreckage was, which was... Uh... Over the other side. God damn it. Getting too too carried away, guys. Uh okay. I don't actually know if Leon's that much slower when he's injured. Or either of the characters are really. I mean when you're on dead red health, you're definitely, definitely, definitely slower. But like this, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, slower, sure, but I don't think it's like a huge, a huge amount. I feel like a special plum. How did we forget that, Leon? Like, come on, how many times have we done this now? Like 17 million times? 7,000 at least. Like, I literally have no idea how many times I've completed this game. Admittedly, not for a very long time. But... 
It's all in my brain. Somewhere, anyway. Um... There we go. Take me back to farm, baby. Yeah, we are going to save it at the end of this video because it's probably a good idea. Because this is going to be my last video of the day. Because I have to go to work tomorrow. But I'm going to hopefully finish this tomorrow. And then Resident Evil is done. And then we need to start thinking about what to do next. Maybe we go back to the remake and do a hardcore playthrough. Maybe you guys are getting sick of Resident Evil. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, guys. Seriously. Right, let's grab the Chief's Diary, which we don't need because we already read it. It's exactly the same as it was in the other part. There is bullets here. Oh! Just remembered. Yeah. I just remembered. We're not done yet. Mr. X is really stepping his game up. Let's just say that. And I love this area. I really liked how they, uh, how much they did this up in the remake. They made it look fantastic. Having said that, in Operation Raccoon City, it was pretty nice as well. Now, I've got Operation Raccoon City, and I really want to do another LP of it. I've got it on... Um, Oh, Sex Church Diary B. Did we, was this one in the original? As I was straightening up the chief's room, he burst through the door with a furious look on his face. It's only been two months since I've started working here, but that's the second time I've seen him like this. Yes, we read that before. Um, right. So we want that. Yeah, I've got it on the PC, but it doesn't work anymore. I've tried to get it to work, because my original LP of that is shit. A lot of my old LPs are shit. Not saying that many of them are much better now, <clears throat> but you know. Hey buddy! Come to Daddy Leon! Come on. There we go. Let him have it, Leon! Come on, you bastard! He actually seemed like he's weaker that time. Ah, oh, what's the murder, X? All banged up. Never mind. There we go. Get some magnum rounds there. Very nice. I don't know why he's got pockets full of ammo. Like, I don't know if that's ever explained. Why he's just carrying around thousands of rounds of ammo. Apparently, originally, he was uh, supposed to be armed with a weapon, but obviously he never was. Nemesis had his rocket launcher. Uh, which made him a lot more dangerous. That is until Carlos destroys his uh, rocket launcher. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, aren't we? Talking about Resident Evil 3. Okay, now we have everything we need to uh, go to the library. We're on 22 minutes. Damn. So much for this being an ultra-fast speedrun, guys. Not that I ever promised that or even suggested it might be, because this is me we're talking about. I am averagely good. I would say averagely good at games. You get a lot of people that think they're really good at games. Blah, 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 blah. But... I, yeah, I'd say I'm average. An average casual player. I would say, if I had to describe myself. I don't go for platinum trophies and all this jazz. Although the, the reason I don't go for platinum trophies and things like that is generally because I just don't have the time. I have uh, a very limited amount of, of gaming time these days. In fact, 80 to 90% of my gaming time is Let's Play, my recordings. Um, 
which is problematic. Like when you want to play a new game that's just come out, and you're like, you can't because you've got your let's playing to do. Uh, right. Okay. Let's go. And of course, Silent Hill 4: The Room is coming up, but I don't have it. And I've got a dilemma with Silent Hill 4 The Room. Do I buy it on the PlayStation 2? Or do I buy it on the original Xbox? Now, I don't have an original Xbox. My one actually has recently died. But it is compatible with the Xbox 360. But apparently the, the compatibility of it is ropey so I think for now we'll we'll, we'll oh yeah we forgot something I think for now we will uh, probably go with the PlayStation 2 version I actually had the demo of Silent Hill 4 back in the day on the original Xbox and I really enjoyed it I thought it was great but as I said a while back, there we go, we have all the plugs. As I said a while back, I do want to do all of the Silent Hill games. Because I like Silent Hill. I don't love Silent Hill in the same way that I like Resident Evil. No, Ben! But I do like Silent Hill. Get away! Damn, Ben. William, what did you do? He's a lot like, he sounds grosser in this one. Like, that sounds really grim. Ben. I'm coming, Ben. Hmm, William. Why did you kill Ben, William? Did you kill him for a reason, or is it just because you're a brainless monster that doesn't know what he's doing? Hard to say. Ben. Although Ben is a dick in this one. Can you still hear me? Come on. I think his ears are fine. Just everything else. Damn. I don't believe this. Hey, another herb. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, a co-conspirator. <laughs> he just produces this paper out of his ass, literally. Get that scum. Make him, Make pay. him pay. Hang in there, Ben. And death. Can you not see, like, he's bleeding out of every orifice? Including orifices that are now new to him. Leon. What timing, Ada? Mail to the chief. Now, this wouldn't have been in Claire's one. To Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. Hmm. Unfortunately, his interference will have no lasting... Oh, sorry, sorry. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Sure about that? Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members. Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers and Vickers. If it comes to light that the STARS have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental yeah yeah the whole team disappearing one by one hmm unless you can wipe them all out with one foul blow and why take the risk why why wait for the evidence to appear why don't you just wipe them out now ah oh, video games Continue to monitor their progression and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin. So William Birkin was a bit more bloodthirsty in, in this one. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. I have deposited the amount of uh, US $10,000 uh, $10, to the account for your services. This term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus 
Scheduled to replace the T-virus is near completion. Once complete, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board of Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining SARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facility. William Birkin. We have a problem. I received information uh, informing me that the Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There is an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me, as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net with these precautions any possible threat should be eliminated i will not allow anybody to steal my work on the g-virus not even umbrella mm. where are you going ada to the chemical plant i have a feeling that's where i'll mm. find john Ada, wait. <laughs> hey. Oh, Leon. Leon, are you still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right. Mm. Trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow <laughs> us later. Claire, Claire, wait, wait. Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Follow us later. Why not? Hey, we've got a, a way to get out of here. Let's all meet up and leave together. We can then also combine our firepower. Oh, no, 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 no. She's fucked off. She's gone. Her ass is disappearing. <laughs> Follow us later. Uh, wait, is there actually anything in here? I don't think so. Ben, you've left me with nothing. I like searching his body. A miserable death. Aren't all deaths miserable though, let's be honest? Is there any pleasant, enjoyable deaths? I mean, if you do enjoy it, it's not as if you can come back and uh, enjoy the experience again. Hmm. Right, anyway, we are going to get out of here. I'm going to go back through the kennels. We're going to go down below. I wonder if the dogs have broken out yet. Right, the dogs actually still have not broken out. No, I don't want to get I don't want to get them. There's a herb like literally down there, but I'm just like, yeah. Cut that umbilical cord. Right, this is going to be a dick um game. Oh, you can fuck right off. Game. Oof. Literally was not loading. This is why I want to save it. Because anything can happen when you're let's playing. And let's be fair, when it comes to me, anything will happen. So I am going to save the game now. I thought the game had seriously crashed. Shit. I was like, man... I have to do all of that again. <sighs> Bullet avoided, I suppose. This PlayStation should be okay. Like, obviously it's old. It's a fat, limited edition, uh, silver PlayStation 2. But it should be, like, I've never had any issues with it. It's not my original PlayStation 2. I actually have my original slim PlayStation 2 down there. But I think... That is starting to show signs of uh, end of life. Um, 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 yeah, I don't think the mechanisms... I might repair it, actually. And talking of which, because I was thinking about repairing it or maybe getting a new slim. Have you seen how expensive the stands are now for slim PlayStation 2s on eBay? That Some of them are like £30, £40 for a PlayStation 2 slim stand. Like, why? Like, how? Like, does anybody pay that for them? I find this with a lot of old accessories on eBay. 
to be honest. Like, there's tons of old, like, accessories that are just priced to the point where you know. You know no one's going to buy them. They're going to be there forever. Unreal. Anyway, guys. That is where I'm going to leave this. Thank you very much for watching. And when we return, which for me will be tomorrow, uh, we are going to go and fight Mr. Birkin and kick him in the dick. Because he is a dick. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.